Hi everyone, welcome to UK Scrap Addicts for September. The theme this month is paint. So, what I'm doing on my layout is using watercolours. I learnt this technique at an Amy Tangerine workshop for Birds of a Feather. Um, you basically just really wet down the watercolours and then you use a straw to blow it out. And you can see I'm doing that here. I've really sped this up because this did take me quite a while. Um, probably 45 minutes to get the effect that I wanted. And I felt so lightheaded when I finished. So I think if you want to go for something similar, then probably space it out a bit because it really does make you dizzy. It was good fun though, um, and it is quite messy. I think what I probably could have done better would have been to leave a bit more time for the different colours to dry because some of them went a little bit muddy, which is a little bit annoying, but it still looks cool. Um, I was using another photo as a template because initially I planned on using just one photo but I actually ended up using two um, portrait shape photos on this um, as you can see I am still going with the colour one thing that I did do on this was I randomly blobbed some colours around the edge you can see some yellow but I didn't actually like that in the end so I do go ahead and chop it off so I'm making that 12 by 12 sheet smaller just trying to find some backing for my photos because I wanted them to sort of stand out a little bit so sticking them on I like the sort of stripy chevron effect of that other paper but I didn't have enough because I was using um, papers out of my scraps because I don't like to waste anything I like to use everything up going for some colourful paper layering it all up now at this point I still hadn't decided to chop the um, the main bit of paper smaller but I really I did not like the look of that yellow around the edge so here we go I'm now chopping off the um, branding strip of some paper I'm cutting out some elements from another one of the Hustle and Heart papers which is Amy Tangerine and then I decide that actually I'm going to chop off the bits I don't like and mount it on a different piece of 12 by 12 paper so I got out the middle of it because the other side of the paper was a really pretty um, butterfly print but I made a bit of a mistake because I stupidly chopped the bottom off so I had to stick it back on as you can see I'm sticking it back on there so then I stuck that on just with some wet glue and I like the contrast of the black and white um, I'm just sticking some washi tape on because I was worried that it would fall off but yeah the contrast of the black and white with the colour I think works really well and then I've used sort of really colourful papers that I had left over in my scraps so I've backed everything else onto them to kind of bring it all together I used a camera branding strip there now these photos are from the colour run I did it in September 2016 with my friend um, it was in Brighton so we did it and it was great fun it was sponsored by Skittles so there was lots of free Skittles to be had which was good and of course it was really colourful I found on that chipboard sheet there um, a word that said colourful. Now I literally would have had nothing else to use that for, so it couldn't have been more perfect for this layout. So stick that on. I have a bit of a love hate with chipboard. I always find that they're just a bit hard to use because they're so thick. But they kind of worked well on this album. I used some more Hustle and Heart stickers. I was just trying to use up as much as I could to make it as colourful as possible. Now I did have to speed this up quite a lot because like I said the beginning part took ages. So I'm just doing my journaling now. What I have done is I also did a smash book page of all of the little bits and bobs that I got from the, um, from the day. So that's on my channel which I'll link below so you, if you want to see that you can go over and watch that as well. 
So we're basically going to be going into the images of the finished layout now. Um, so thank you for watching. Do go and check out the blog post and look at our Facebook page. There's plenty of people on there with amazing ideas. So definitely share your layouts and tag us in it on Instagram. Um, we really look forward to seeing everything that you do. So please leave me a comment and like this post. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.